Hey, uh, we're going to take a look about um, how to make um, uh, a gate reverb on the snare. A lot of people are using this technique on the electronic dance music. Um, it's not very complicated. We're going to take a look here. Uh, here we have like a snare um, and uh, we are going to uh, get the snare here um, make um, an auxiliary bus number 4 I'm going to show you here uh, don't, don't pay attention to this module here I'm going to install a reverb uh, I get a reverb from Airverb and uh, Wave plugin I used uh, Tennessee Theater uh, just for let you see when you open the bus it will be a post father bus then uh, then you install your uh, for example this it's an, uh, just a, an old projection that I did it's just for show you it's it's just an example you don't need to have this plugin here Anyway, um, you uh, you open the the reverb. You set what uh, what you need to set, and then when you have this auxiliary bus here, uh, don't send the bus to the to the out. Um, uh, we are going to create another bus here, as you can see. It's bus number five, and you should you uh, click prefader. Then, when you have the bus uh, number four, you install a gate, and um, is just uh, I I set uh, the gate by myself. I'm going to explain you. And uh, when you have the um, the auxiliary bus bus four. You send it to bus number five, and uh, and then you let bus number five to go out. And uh, the other things that uh, it's very important to know is that you have to side chain the gate with the snare, and uh, you just click here, and uh, because you need to you need to. Uh, it's looking like the key input, um, like Pro Tool, but uh, here it's Logic Logic X, and uh, it's not it's not really the same things like Pro Tool. Sometimes people um, uh, think that it's very complicated to lose to to use the um, the um, the mixer, uh, and um, um, it's still looking very difficult for me to. Um, to use the signal path, uh, but anyway, um, it's it's not really difficult. We are going to uh, to uh, make the test now. I'm going just to uh, to um, to switch off everything. This is our snare. Now we are going to make the reverb on it. Okay, we still have the reverb, and uh, I'm going to uh, to turn on the gate. As you can hear, the reverb it's cut by the gate. And also, you can. Uh, you can choose the release of of the gate like this
Anyway, um, we used uh, we used the release, the hold, and and the attack and gate close and gate open. It's just um, I'm sorry I don't have the I don't have the graphic here to uh, to show you and explain you um, um, how to use the the gate open, the gate close, but, but people uh, they know how to use compressor and uh, and things like this. They will, they will, um, they will really understand. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that uh, maybe some people here um, they have no idea about uh, uh, what is the release, the all the attack, and and things like this. And uh, I'm um, sorry to uh, that I cannot explain by um, by picture or draw some things to uh, to explain you about uh, the C1 uh, the C1 gate uh, waves. But anyway, uh, you can uh, you can just um, take uh, take my set and and then. It will be something very artistic about cutting the the reverb, and uh, um, you can just um, use the the release and have like a short uh, old uh, on it. I hope that uh, I hope that uh, it will help for uh, making um, a gate uh, reverb snare and. Uh, See you for uh, another uh, tutorial or topic or something like this later. Thanks, bye.